हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ मिसेस गौरी चेतन देश पांडे टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वेब सर्च इंजिन सो व्हाट इज अ वेब सर्च इंजिन वेब सर्च इंजिन इट इज अ वन काइंड ऑफ कलेक्शन एंड विद इन दैट अ यूजर कैन स्टोर देयर ओन डेटा और दे कैन स्टोर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डेटा सो बेसिकली इट इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ स्टोरेज सो विल स्टार्ट विद द हिस्ट्री ऑफ वेब सर्च इंजिन so first basic search engine was created by the three computer science students at the magill university in 1990 and the uh, name of the tool is nothing but the archive so what is the archive so in that uh, uh, tool or in that uh, collection uh, that three students stored all kinds of the uh, business files and uh, these files are uh, used to perform all kind of the commercial application so basically search engine means what that consists of some databases some web pages uh, then some news groups and then program some images or some videos or audio so these are the collection of the uh, any kind of uh, the group or the any kind of uh, uh, engine uh, databases now what is the role of this user uh, in a search engine uh, basically user want to search any kind of data in terms of keywords or in terms of phrases so uh, with the help of that keyword or with the help of that phrases they can find out the data now how they can find out the data that keyword or that phrases are matched with your databases and if both keywords and phrases are matched then we'll get the output now for matching this query or for matching this keyword or phrases we need some logical operator so we need some operator like and operator or operator or the not operator so basically if you want to find out the uh, data from your search engine then we need some kind of software and that software is nothing but your web crawler so web search engine if you want to design my own search engine we needs first one is databases second one is we need the browser and third one is a uh, we need the crawler now next one is here uh what are the characteristics of web search engine so first characteristics is a crawling so crawling means what it is a one kind of software application or it is a one kind of program with the help of that program we can find out the data from the search engine means if we want to find out the information about uh, any sports person so we can find out the data from a heterogeneous uh, resources so there are heterogeneous resources means what there are some websites or there are some databases from that we just collect all the information through that program that program is nothing but a crawler so crawler is very important factor if you want to design our own search engine second one is your indexing so this is the storage technique if you want to store the data in your search engine then we need some indexing technique so what is a index indexing technique is nothing but we can start uh, uh, from 0 to n minus 1 so uh, for 0th location we can store one document then one then 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 3 uh, so uh, we can uh, store the data from the index number 0 third characteristics in uh, in a search engine we can store the different kinds of data so these three characteristics are very important if you want to design my own uh, search engine so crawling indexing and storage next characteristics is a result now how to declare that result with the help of your browser or with the help of your server so result means what these are the some hyperlinks to website that show up in the search engine page when a certain keyword or phrase is query means when you type something in your search engine that keyword or that phrase goes to your databases and then matching operation is done after matching operation is done we'll get the result on your browser so these are the characteristics of your web search engine next one is 
if you are creating a search engine that time we can get some challenges issue so what are the challenges first one is suppose if any user doesn't know how to operate that search engine so suppose users are unfamiliar with a logical view of data while searching second one is if you don't know how to write the query or how, how to find out the data means if users are unfamiliar with a search engine interface third thing is many different kinds of users so there are a number of users if any users uh, know how to use the basic search as well as advanced search but some user doesn't know how to use the advanced search or the basic search third one uh, fourth one is distributed and hidden data fourth one is exponential growth of web pages next one is unstructured and redundant data and next one is unedited and volatile data so these are the challenges issue in web search engine now next topic is web structure so what is the structure of the web so basically if we want to design my own search engine then we need a web graph then we need some uh, static and dynamic pages need hidden or uh, hidden web pages and next one is the uh, you have to mention the size of web pages so let's see what do you mean by the web graph so basically what do you mean by the web graph web graph is nothing but the relationship between the sites and pages indicated by hyperlinks so in short we can say that web graph is nothing but the collection of web pages and which are interconnected with the help of your hyperlinks then uh, using that web graph we can find out your entity or your documents in terms of the object so that object are connected with each other suppose there are a five documents and that five documents are connected with each other then that whole structure is known as the web graph next one is here static and dynamic pages so what do you mean by the static web page static web page means what in advance uh, uh in advance we can generate uh, or we can design some web pages that is a static web page and at a run time if you want to if any user want to design their page that is nothing but the dynamic pages so suppose uh, there is some historical website so these are the examples of your static web pages and uh, your commercial application or your e-commerce website uh, like your amazon or your uh, shop glues these are the dynamic website next one is here hidden pages so hidden pages is also called as a deep page or the invisible page so what do you mean by the hidden page hidden page means that have no link referencing them means suppose there are a five documents and there is a no uh, incoming link that is nothing but the hidden pages so hidden pages are the uh, individual pages and last one is the you have to mention the size of web pages how many pages are included in your website so this is the very core concept of your web structure uh, if you want to design my own search engine then you have to take care of your size of web page thank you